Hi guys, Tatiana is here and today I want to analyze with you together the Alex Cooper. Oh my god, Alex Cooper, I find her out um, this week and she has such an interesting content. If you haven't seen her uh, videos, if you haven't to listen to her uh, podcast, please check it out because this is so open, this is so transparent. She's so honest and transparent about herself, about everything in her life. Uh, this is a new era, guys. I think everything is going this way right now. I hope so much that the rules also and uh, the law of the psychology will become more flexible right now because we are living in other era. We are living in the modern times where everything is becoming much more transparent and a lot of celebrities, a lot of people are talking to us, are telling us openly about their struggles, about their psychological problems, about their being through therapy, about their working on themselves. Because this is an excellent example because if we see that the celebrities are not perfect, we are becoming more accepting towards ourselves because we understand that we also can uh, let ourselves to be imperfect. And there is something so beautiful about this uh, way of being imperfect because this is the only way to be different from other people, to be yourself. This is the, the way to be really beautiful for people who really understand this, I believe. And so today I wanted actually to analyze with you, as I always tell you, disclaimer, yes, this is not about judging somebody. This is not about blaming somebody or finding the uh, good guy and the bad guy and the perfect guy. This is not about this. This is just about an education. Maybe you will find something personal from this video, something useful for you. Some dynamics that you haven't been able to see before. And maybe you will understand something about yourself from this. And so let's uh, get back to Alex Cooper. She is uh, openly talking about her being bullied in her uh, school. And I think this is so important message because uh, we see now Alex, she's a beautiful, gorgeous woman. She's so smart, so intelligent. She is having her business. She is doing her podcast. She is a businesswoman. She's having a success. And so she is telling about really fragile times in her life, of fragile topics about her pain that she had been through. And so this is so important for other people to hear that because like if we have the idealized images of people, we think that everybody is living in a, like some kind of an utopia or something that nobody's struggling and everybody's life is perfect. So that makes us suffer because we know life, we are going through life, we are hustling, we are making things work, we are facing problems. And so knowing that also the celebrities, the successful people are doing the same, are giving so much power to us because it's only that way we are able to really continue to face a problem, to resolve some things and to go farther, to not to stop. Coming back to Alex Cooper, she's telling, she was open about this bullying and she's also quite open about her relationship with her parents. So my version, I'm analyzing this from what she's telling us, from the information that is over here. 
uh, is open and what I think that she's always telling about her family as if they were her friends. And here you are, a lot of people are telling now this is the best way to be parent, to be a best friend for your child. You know, there is a trap over here, actually, because if you, by being a parent, if you are making yourself to be the best friend of your child, your child is missing a parent. If you are taking on yourself the role of the friend of your child, your child is not having a parent, is losing you as a parent. The point is that every family have uh, their hierarchy and so everybody should be on their places. If uh, we are talking about constellations that uh, I'm uh, going to and I'm learning, I'm studying over there in this uh, direction of the psychology, everybody is having their place in the family, uh, in the dynasty. Every family member has its own place. And when the places are twisted, when there is a chaos, nobody understands who is a father, who is a mother, who is a friend, who is a grandfather, grandmother. There is a mess everywhere. And so at your home, you as a kid is having your friends. Guess what? At your school, you will have your family. I know that it sounds magically, it sounds strange, but this is how it works. Everybody should be at their places. If your parents are doing your friends, it means that you, if you are talking about constellations, you are on their level, the same level. But you should be under them because you are their kids. You know? If you are not taking your place, if you are on their level, you are exchanging your role in this family you know and it form the thing that we call in constellations the triangulation what does it mean the triangulation triangulation is mean that if we can imagine the positions of uh, the family members the child is standing between the parents if the child is standing between the parents and not taking his or her place where she should be, she should be under the parents, it means that she is uh, living her life not as a child but as an adult. And it also means that in some other place she is recreating everything in a way to have the experience of the family over there so it means in two words that if she is not having her family at her home she will have this family at her school and so of course the children the teenagers are super sensitive they can be mean they can be overreactive they can be everything. It's all about the hormones and all about having the strike against anything. And so, of course, subconsciously, these children could feel that Alex is not standing on her place and that they need to, to be parents in this school place. And so they didn't like it because it was so unnatural for them and that is why they were sabotaging they were bullying her and they were telling her this is not your place because bullying what is it about this is about telling somebody this is not your place so my version is this is my subjective point of view or maybe this is totally wrong i'm not telling this it should be the very right, the, the most right version of what was happening over there. But I think 
as a therapist, as a person who is studying now uh, constellations as well, that the point why she was bullied at her school was that her parents were trying, they were doing their best, there is no blame, and everybody of us are doing mistakes, this is okay. They were trying to be friends for her. And so she was playing this adult person at her home to not to make feel bad her parents. And so that is why she needed to play this role of the child at school. And so her classmates, maybe the other children at the school needed to play the role of her parents and they feel it subconsciously and that's why they were bullying her because these roles were unnatural for them. Let's imagine that if her parents would take the position of the parents in this case, maybe the bullying would stop. You know, it's not directly connected, but it's indirectly connected. It's subconscious processes that I'm talking about now. It doesn't mean that everybody is understanding what they are doing. They didn't understand. And what I also think that she was not only the uh, friend of them, because if we are talking about the boundaries in this case, usually these boundaries are not there also in a way that maybe they were telling her something about their relationship. Maybe they were sharing with her something about uh, their relationship with other people or something like that. Something that is not for a child to hear. The way that they treated her as an adult is why she may struggle in all the way around here until she get this success right now. But again, uh, I'm not telling that uh, this is uh, the only one version that is over here. I think this is not the bad version actually, because bullying is about a lot of things. And it can be about this scenario as well because they are hyper reactive and they are feeling that something is wrong. And so they behaving like they behave. And also the point is that usually not everybody is getting bullied in the class. I actually, I can tell about myself. I was facing bullying in my school. And uh, now uh, I've been through the therapy and, and I'm working on myself still. And I will continue to work on myself in this way. And I can tell that in my case, for example, this was because I knew subconsciously, I feel that I was not being loved in my family. And so, you know, when the, the child is not being loved, and is going to the school, all other children are beginning to feel that the same way as the parents of this child towards this child. And in some case, they feel that something is wrong with this kid who is not receiving love in her family and his family. And so they start to uh, treat her in this way or him. You know, so this is always about something being wrong. Some hierarchy is um, twisted in her or his uh, family. Something is wrong in two words. Something is wrong with this kid. And so the other children are feeling this and start bullying this person, this kid. This is always about this. Again, I repeat, this is not about the fact that this kid is bad or, or she or he was doing something to receive this way of treatment. No, this is nothing about this kid. This is not about the, uh, the fact that this kid is deserving this treatment or something. This is 
nothing even close to this. This child hasn't uh, done anything to be treated this way. And also nobody in this world has done anything uh, in purpose to make her suffer in this case. Yeah, but this can be about the subconscious processes that there are in some families that are leading to this point, you know, because uh, the teenagers are hypersensitive and they feel that something is wrong. And so they start to overreact. They start to have an aggression against uh, such children. And they cannot even explain why her, why you pick her, why you pick him, you know? There is no explanation. They just feel that this oh, kid, this particular kid is fragile in something and they start to attack, you know? This is nobody's fault. This is what I think about in this case and of course uh, I can tell only compliments uh, to uh, Alex that she's working on herself, that she's really doing the best job in her therapy, that she is really watching on this uh, case, watching on her struggling, watching on her problems, watching on her pain. You know, if you are not facing all of these topics, you will not be able to heal from this. Well, I can tell only thank you to her because she is uh, making our life in, even more transparent. She, she is uh, the starter of a new era, I think. The new way of thinking, the new way of visioning, of uh, seeing everything. And I hope that this transparency will come also into the therapy because so far not a lot of colleagues of mine are talking openly about such things. You know, somebody is seeing it as an uh, unethical. I think that the rules in therapy should correspond on the demands of the era. If we are now coming into something more transparent, if we are coming in this era where everybody is talking about their struggles, about their pain, about their unpleasant experience. This is how it should work. Because oftentimes people, by hearing somebody else's experience, by hearing why it happens and what happens, can fix something or can even go to the therapy to work on something because they maybe was hearing some podcast or some psychologist who, who was telling about the other person, the celebrity who was having this type of problem. And I identified myself as a similar to this experience and the, to this person. And so I go and I work on myself to make myself better because this is why we are going to, into the therapy. And believe me, your life will become so much better through the therapy. I can tell that that my therapy was the number one, the best investment of my life. And I will continue to do it because it makes you so much free. It makes you so much of accept of yourself. It makes you so much better version of yourself. It makes you so much more happier. And this is all about it. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, subscribe on my channel, please, guys. Uh, maybe you have some ideas on uh, whom should I analyze next time. Maybe what should I do video about next time. So see each other next time. And please comment down below and subscribe on my channel. See you.